I'm Eric Odie and welcome to the Poetry Workshop. I'm glad you're here. Maybe you're someone who likes to play with words. Maybe you uh, like the way certain words sound together. Uh, maybe you like to use, maybe you like to rhyme or maybe you like describing things in new ways or you like making connections, making comparisons. Maybe you're just a really observant person and, and you notice what's going on around you. Well, if that's you, then you are at the right place here in the Poetry Workshop. We're going to be working on poems together. And, uh, and my hope is that maybe by working on a poem together, that it will give you new ideas, new ways of approaching your writing, uh, no, new ways of, of writing your next poem that you want to write on your own. So we should get busy. And, and here's where I want to start. Um, I have a, a short video for you I want you to see. Just a few days ago, um, I got a bit of a surprise here at the workshop, and I ran inside and grabbed my camera so that I could share this with you. Here, take a look. Now, maybe you've seen a hailstorm before. That's our front porch. And you can watch that hail bouncing off the boards of our front porch. Collecting there in the in the lawn and bouncing off the sidewalk, the walkway. You might think about what is this, what does the hail remind you of? What does it make you think about? Well, I shared that little video with some friends online and, and then I asked them to give me some thoughts, tell me about what they saw give me some words, some ideas, some things that we might use to, uh, to generate a poem together. And, and let me share some of that with you. Here's what I got. So Lily, uh, Lily said it reminds her of salt. And I thought that was kind of fun. Emily said, the hail reminded me of ocean waves. It sounded like paper crinkling and popcorn kernels popping. Uh, Ren said, it sounds powerful and fearless. George says, Rain heavy as rocks. That's a, that's a fun comparison, isn't it? Uh, Cora Lee said, It reminds me of, si of a sizzling pan of a dog sled moving through the snow. There are some, some fun similes. Connor said, um, the, gave me the words crackle and crash. And Jacob said, Makes me think of fossilized snow. And he gave me the words beating and bashing. There's some good alliteration right there, beating and bashing. And uh, Daniel said, reminds me of cars driving down the road through puddles. It has that sound to it, doesn't it? And, and he said, uh, wet and sharp. And then Lorelei said, it reminds me of a storm, and it sounded loud and scary. Clara said, uh, it sounds like when Isaac, this is Clara's two-year-old brother, is playing in the dirt, and he drops all the pebbles and they clatter to the ground. That's kind of a fun thought. And Abigail said um, it reminded her of grinding gravel. Colin said reminds uh, reminds him of a loud ice machine and it sounded loud and ferocious. And then Patton said it reminds him of a uh, starting of a hurricane and it sounds like cracking ice and rumbling a rumbling mountain. So those are some of the ideas that they've given that they've given us to get started. We kind of pool these all together. We can call this an idea bank or a word bank. And, and I should mention to you that one thing I've done is on my paper, I've sort of grouped some of these together. So I've put some of the, the similes, the comparisons, the things where uh, the, 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 my, one of my helpers compared the hail to something else, something else entirely. And I also grouped together some of the words that were just good describing words, words like beating and bashing and wet and sharp and scary, those kinds of describing words. Let's get busy. Okay. And I've got my, my whiteboard over here. I've got some whiteboard markers. Let's use blue today. And I think just to get started, how about, how about we, uh, how about we just start by kind of describing the setting, letting the the reader know um, where we are and and what we're watching. So let's start with something like uh, we'll just say the 
the storm of hail. We can start there. Um, and, and I like those the words beating and bashing. I thought those were really good, strong words that we got. So how about the storm of hail um, beats and bashes. Remember, that's called alliteration. When you put words together that have the same initial sound, like those B sounds, that's called alliteration, a fun tool for poetry. The storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch. And what were some of the other... I like the... Uh, the um, I like that the sharp was good. I like that crackle, crash. How about, I like that. Let's use the crackle and crash. That's another good alliteration. Upon my front porch, we'll say crackling and crashing. Good active words. And the, oh, well, let's put a period here and then let's see what we have so far. So now we have the storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. And then I love these thoughts that we had a couple of helpers here who suggested that it sounded like um, we had one who said a sizzling pan and we had someone said a popcorn kernels popping. And, uh, and those are real similar. Let's, let's try this. How about, um, how, let's see, upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. And let's try it. It is sizzles. Yeah, let's try. Let's try sizzles. Let's see. It sizzles. And I'm going to skip a line already. This is called a line break. When we go to a new line, even though we have room here, I'm going to skip and I'm going to say it sizzles like like popcorn. We said uh, popcorn kernels. Oh, I hope I don't run out of room. Oops, kernels. Let's learn how to spell kernels. Popping in in a pan. Well, I like that. Um, let's see. And then we have, well, let's go back to the beginning and let's read again. The storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. It sizzles like popcorn kernels popping in a pan, which I think is sort of funny because when I think about it, uh, popcorn kernels are not, that's, I think it looks a lot like popcorn kernels, but, but popcorn kernels would be really warm, right? I mean, they're hot, they're uh, that, all that oil and sizzling and everything. Which isn't at all what um, what hail is. Hail is is cold. But let's maybe we could maybe we could bring that out. Let's let's actually point that out. How about um, how about let's try something like um, okay. Let's try uh, how 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 clever of something. So cold to um, pretend to be something so hot. How's that? Now, oh, now this is another good poetic tool. When we said how clever of something, now, hail cannot be clever, right? It doesn't have a personality, it doesn't, but this is called personification. Personification is when we uh, give human characteristics to something that's not human, like to say that, um, like, the hail is clever. And, of course, the hail isn't clever at all, but we can pretend that it is because we are poets, so that makes it okay. Let's go back to the beginning. Now we have the storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. It sizzles like popcorn kernels popping in a pan. How clever of something so cold 
to pretend to be something so hot. I like that. What kinds of changes can we make here that might make this a little better? I think one thing I want to do, I'm going to change this from the to a. Now this is just my call here. We could have left it the, but I think I like a storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. It sizzles like popcorn kernels popping in a, in a pan. I, I kind of want to describe this pan. One of the things I liked about, you now who was telling me Clara was comparing uh, the sound to her, her, her brother Isaac um, dropping all the pebbles and that was clattering to the ground. And I liked how specific that was. And, and sometimes being real specific about something helps make the poem more powerful. Let's figure out if there's a, a way of describing that pan. Can you see that okay? This is a pretty big mess over here. Um, popcorn kernels popping in a pan. How about a, we have, um, let's see, how about a, um, in a, let's just use the word maybe deep. Can we do that? The popcorn kernels popping in a, how about in a deep, round pan. I, I, th I think I sort of like that better. It sizzles like popcorn kernels popping in a deep round pan. How clever of something so cold to pretend to be something so... I'm going to change, I'm going to add the word very here. Let's say something so very hot. There. I, I think this might work. Let's, let's read the whole thing once more. A storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. It sizzles like popcorn kernels popping in a deep round pan. How clever of something so cold to pretend to be something so very hot. I like this a lot. This is, I think this will work out just fine. Now I have to tell you, to be honest, that a lot of times when I am writing a poem, and I love writing poems, but when I'm writing poems, a lot of times, you know, it might take me hours to be really happy with a poem. Sometimes it might take me several days to be really happy with a single poem. But, but today, this feels pretty good. And we need a title, don't we? I almost always write the title last uh, because I don't want the title to decide what the poem is going to be about. I want the poem to decide what the title is going to be. So. How about, uh, um, oh, we could come up with something really creative. How about, um, well, let's just call it hail. Let's just call it hailstorm. Can we do that? We'll just call it hailstorm. I'm not sure that's the most creative word or the right, the most creative title right now, but I think it, it'll pass for now. I bet you could come up with a better title yourself. Okay. Well, here's what I want to do. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to type it up and I'm going to put it up on the video and, uh, and we'll see how it looks when it's uh, all typed up and looking clean and good. Hail storm. A storm of hail beats and bashes upon my front porch, crackling and crashing. It sizzles like popcorn kernels popping in a deep round pan. How clever of something so cold to pretend to be something so very hot. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll catch up with you again later. I think I need to go um, make some popcorn. Popcorn sounds really good now. Okay, take care. Bye.